A multi-car pileup in North Texas has killed at least six people. Incredible. This happened this morning on Interstate 35 near Fort Worth. Officials say more than 100 cars and trucks were involved. Look at this. Crews working to remove the vehicles from the roadway, even now. This cell phone video captured one of the crashes. You can see a big FedEx truck slam into a pile of cars here. Authorities say crews also transported dozens of others to hospitals. NBC's Morgan Chesky is there now. Morgan, how did this happen? Well, Chef, I can tell you that that investigation is underway. We know that authorities have been gathering evidence here all day long uh, as part of this just massive effort to figure out what led to this pileup. You mentioned they're still dealing with it as we speak, and we do know that they believe there are still bodies inside some of that wreckage. Shep, we've seen the videos of those 18-wheelers that crushed car after car that are still, in certain instances, uh, trapped beneath some of the debris on I-35 West just outside of Fort Worth. Now, we do know that ice was a contributing factor in this case. The initial accident happened around 6 a.m. Authorities were here within just a few minutes, and we learned that even after firefighters had arrived here and were tending to some of the people inside this accident, trapped inside their vehicles, there continued to be a chain reaction accident that stretched out for at least a mile on this part of the interstate and involved 130 total cars. By the time it was all said and done, 60 people were treated at nearby hospitals. Six people have died, and we know several others are still in critical condition. I had a chance to speak to the Fort Worth fire chief on what it was like to try to break down this massive scene. Take a listen. We're still trying to clear the scene. There still is the possibility that we're going to find additional victims uh, that we were unable to get to because of the conditions. And as of right now, they do believe this scene should be cleared up by tomorrow morning. One of the toughest aspects of this entire event is the fact that there are still family members here in this area waiting to hear from those who have been involved in this. And time is just becoming more difficult by the minute. Shep. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.